What is up guys? Welcome to Star Wars Comics. Hope you're having an amazing day and if you are, tell me down below in the comments. Let's get a chat going down there guys. You know, good old Uncle Bessie is coming with a great Vader video once again. I love them, I make them. <laughs> Today we've got Vader in a rare case of Cat got your tongue. He was left speechless by a simple reminder of his past. We've talked a lot about this, but Vader's emotions about his past is what ultimately brought him back to the light. It redeemed him. And honestly, that's why I love the comics more so than any other media, because we see a lot of moments more frequently. Those little moments that you can miss so often. It's not ham-fisted, but sprinkled every other issue. You see something that showcase why this character ended up like that in the end. It is awesome, but this one starts with Vader sending Dr. Aphra to discover something that Vader had suspected for a long time. The circumstances of Padme's death. The person of interest here was Commodex Tan. All the arrangements for Padme's funeral were done by this guy specifically. He was the mortician in simple terms. Well, Aphra accompanied by Triple Zero and BT, quickly captured Ton, and as much as he tried to deny knowing anything, Aphra quickly got it out of him. Tan even bragged about never betraying the secret of his former queen. He told Aphra that she was a good and strong queen. Padme was never forgotten. Everyone on Naboo remembered her still after all these years. As much as he protested though, Tan was ultimately tortured by Triple Zero until he spoke. He then told Aphra what she already suspected, that Padme didn't die while she she was still pregnant. In fact, she had birthed a healthy boy and the Jedi took him. Once Aphra was done with Tawn, Triple Zero finished him off and now she had to go meet with her employer, Darth Vader. This is what I wanted to show you guys. Watch Vader as he gets quiet all of a sudden. You see, back on Anthem Prime, where Vader and Aphra would usually meet, Aphra told Vader that his suspicions were confirmed. The Sith Lord realized that Boba Fett was actually correct. The boy's name was Skywalker and he was in fact the boy that Padme gave birth to before she died. But when Vader asked if she discovered anything else, Aphra didn't say much, only that Ton loved the former queen Padme. He held her in such high regard. She told Vader that it sounded like the queen Padme was something really special. At that moment, Vader stood silent. He absolutely knew that it was true. He knew why Tan admired Padme so much and why the entirety of Naboo did as well. Because, well, she was. She really was something special. Back when he was Anakin, he valued her special soul. Now, as a broken old man, he had only his son to look forward to. To Vader, that was the only family that remained for him. And come hell or high water, he would not rest until Luke was at Vader's side. Let's consider something for a second, guys. Since Anakin became Vader, and especially after he was crushed on Mustafar and donned the black suit, Never again did he offer mercy to anyone. He searched, found, and destroyed. That was his motto. Killing was his profession now, and not until he came upon Luke did he stop and think. We know he needed his son. He planned to take down Palpatine, and Luke joining him was the way to do that. But it wasn't just for power. I think that Vader actually wanted to start to love again, to connect with his past. In Empire Strikes Back, he fought Luke but never really went at him. Never actually tried to kill him. Vader rarely, if ever, did that. You know, stopped his killing ways for anyone. Luke was one of the rare ones, but that's it for today, guys. What's up with Vader and his past? Talk to us down below. Tell us your thoughts about this topic. If you enjoyed, guys, leave a thumbs up as well and hit that bell to get notified the moment a new video is up. Have an awesome day, my Star Wars friends, and may the Force be with you always.